What's up, Refuge Nation? Thanks so much for tuning in for another episode of Back to the Basics. And today, we are going over the EDC, your everyday carry, the cool, tactical, awesome stuff that you're carrying on your person to make you a more prepared citizen. So, so many individuals love to focus on the guns, the gats, the knives, the, the tactical awesomeness, and today we are just not going to talk about that type of stuff. But rather, we are going to talk about your med EDC and what you can actually be carrying on you very easily to make yourself a more prepared citizen. So, a couple of things in front of me that I have right here. You can easily carry on your person every single day and it gives you the ability to stop the clock and potentially save a life. So you'll see right here, well, you gotta have them. You gotta love them. It's the gloves. It protects you from the disgusting, gross world that is out there, especially if you're having to wound pack or apply a chest seal or a tourniquet. You wanna have some gloves on you so that way you're not getting something that's all bloody and sticky and gross on your hands where it could potentially contaminate you. So always have a set of gloves. You can roll it up, stuff it up, however you want, you know, keep it in your pocket, however you so choose, but have a set of gloves. So there is that. The next thing that we're gonna move on to is a tourniquet. In front of me I have a soft tee, Gen 5, and then we have a cat uh, tourniquet, Gen 7. And both of these are great tourniquets for EDC. I personally carry the soft tee every single day more than I carry the cat Gen 7. The main being is this sucker right here, it packs down a little bit tighter. So if you see when it's looped up, we can go ahead and flatten it out. It lays very, very flat. And I can just wrap this tourniquet up very easily, like so. Secure that with a rubber band, and that's a very flat package. It can sit inside of a pocket. You can put it inside of a, uh, you know, maybe a, a clandestine carrying rig or something like that. All these are good options. Um, so the soft tee, the Cat Gen 7, when you stage it, it is a little bit more challenging to carry it every single day because it's just a little bit bulky. You have the hook, and so you then have to stage it in uh, maybe the not quick deploy way. Have that loose, uh, that slick side right here, right? Right? Um, but still, it's a little bit bulkier, harder to carry every day. Not that it can't be done. I've seen people use the elastic loops on their belt line, carry it right like so. Uh, they carry it in ankle rigs, in um, you know, in pockets, whatever have you. So still a great tourniquet, a great choice to carry. Moving on, we have a couple of options for wound packing. Two things that a civilian could carry on them, or a law enforcement officer, or an EMS professional, or anybody with blood in their body could carry on them to help you with wound packing is compressed gauze or if you wanted to get fancy some hemostatic rolled gauze this little package right here packs down nice and tight very small right all you do put it in a pocket put it in your ankle rig or anything like that and you can very very easily carry this on your person every single day so if you maybe aren't currently in a place where you can afford hemostatic or you don't want to carry it on you every single day another great option is just good old-fashioned wound packing gauze a compressed little package of wound packing gauze fits in a pocket or an ankle rig very very easily right and you can carry this on your person you can deploy it very easy and with that it's waterproof so you don't have to worry about it getting popped maybe like the quick clot would now they do make vacuum sealed combat z fold quick clot gauze it is a little bit more expensive so you have to weigh your pros and cons currently white page data so the research shows that if you wound pack correctly and that is a big if given that there is so many variables that Wound packing with hemostatic versus non-hemostatic, it doesn't really have a depreciable difference. So that being said, we always wanna use a hemostatic if we have the option because it accounts for human error and it helps with that clotting uh, time frame, right? So both of these things you want to carry on you every single day because man it could save a life you know major bleeds happening inside of junctional areas is a big concern and plays directly into the m in the marchi algorithm so two great options to carry on you every day next thing set of chest seals right we always want to have a set of chest seals on us and you know a lot of people are like oh i want to carry two or three sets i personally don't do that i think that's a little bit overkill so i do carry a chest a set of chest seals on me one vented one non vented and then with that I always have some sort of compression so this is a great example just the s mark bandage and this is one of those dual purpose things here because I can use the 
chest mark bandage to secure a improvised chest seal. I can use it to secure maybe some wound packing gauze, but I can also use it as a child tourniquet as well. So a set of chest seals, and to anybody who's like, well, that's big, you can't carry that. Just fold it, it's okay. Oh, Bob, you can't fold the chest seals, it's gonna break. It, it's, it's folded in the package, so it'll be totally fine, I promise. Uh, open up a set of your chest seals, make sure you know kind of the status of them, right? And you'll see that they're currently folded. So that's a quick look at the EDC that I would recommend for every American right now in this current day and age with all the craziness that's going on with how people are acting. Now you might be asking, Bob, what's a good way to carry that gear. That's a lot of stuff. I don't have that many pockets and I completely understand where you're coming from. So we have two great options for you. The first is gonna be the slick kit and that's right here. So the slick kit is an awesome form factored kit that just slides into a back pocket or a cargo pocket super easily and it allows you the capability to carry all of these medical components in a waterproof container. Add that with a tourniquet, whether it's your soft tee or your cat gen seven, loose in another pocket, properly stay and magnifique, you're good to go. Or if you didn't want to do the slick rig because maybe you have big wallets or something like that and you want to keep your pockets free, another great option is the ankle rig right here. You can uh, easily store all of your first aid gear inside of the three pockets as well as you have the option to store a Sharpie and a decompression needle if you're trained on how to use one. So this is a great form factor, easy, light, breathable ankle kit that you can use to store all this medical gear and allow you to still look clandestine, not have big cargo pockets bulging out. You can wear it on a Friday night or a Saturday night and still look fresh, you know, still look clean. The most important thing, however, is that you are actually carrying and training with this gear. You can have all the best gear on your person every single day, but if you're not training with it, actively improving your school skills, actively researching, actively learning, then what are we doing? We're just kidding ourselves. And so this week's Back to Basics is focused not just on the EDC, but it's also focused on everyday training, the EDT. We want you, the individual, to let us know in the comments what are things that you're doing to constantly be learning, to constantly be training, not just yourself, but your family, your friends, your mag, your church, your group, your SHTF battle buddy, uh, your whatever. How are you guys continuing to grow and get better in the current day and the current circumstances? We wanna hear from you. We wanna know what you're doing to train. If you guys are interested in training opportunities, go ahead and click the link right here. That will take you over to Refuge Medical in the training section where we host different training classes where you can come to our home base, our HQ, and learn alongside professional cadre. We love you guys. We hope you're training. Please, please, please carry your effing first aid gear. Shalom.